The incidence and prevalence of inflammatory bowel disease have been increasing in Asia in the past two decades. This increase cannot be accounted for by genetic factors alone, but most likely relates to environmental influence, including westernization of diet, improved sanitation, physical activities, and smoking. Smoking has been consistently shown to be a protective factor for ulcer colitis, but is a risk factor for Crohn's disease. There are limited epidemiological data to suggest a link between having been breastfed and risk of developing inflammatory bowel disease. The Asia-Pacific Crohn's and Colitis Epidemiology Access Study is a prospective population-based inception cohort study to examine risk factor prior to patients developing IBD in eight countries in Asia and Australia, based on the questionnaire survey. A total of 442 incident IBD subjects and 940 controls matched for age, gender and geography were recruited prospectively. Breastfeeding, antibiotic use and exposure to pet animals during childhood were found to be protective for both Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis development. In contrast, BCG vaccination was a risk factor for Crohn's disease. In-house water tap and hot water tap was protective for ulcer colitis. Egg smoking and increased cereal intake during childhood were both risk factors for ulcer colitis in Asia. The daily consumption of coffee or tea and weekly physical activities were protective for both Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis development. Altogether, breastfeeding has a marked protective effect on development of Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis. The beneficial effect was most prominent when breastfeeding was continued for 12 months or longer. A more westernized diet was a risk factor, whereas tea consumption was protective. Contact with childhood pets was a novel protective factor. There was an inverse association between antibiotic use and development of Crohn's disease. In summary, this represents the first population prospective study to access environmental risk factors in a non-western cohort and a population of emerging disease incidents. It identifies early childhood immunological and dietary factors relevant to disease pathogenesis. It raises the possibility of disease prevention by modulating early life events in at-risk individuals. The strong protective association of breastfeeding could potentially motivate female patients with IBD to breastfeed especially since the children have an increased risk of the disease. Further details are available on the GUT website.